Good morning, my fellow Americans. Today we're going to talk about this gun reform bill. So I just saw this, like, I just got done watching this video. This video is maybe two minutes long. This is something I'm really passionate about because part of our law, part of our heritage, part of our traditions is that everybody gets to own firearms, cannons, whatever you want to call it. The Second Amendment shall not be infringed, okay? And this is what the Democrats always do. They always go in every single time they have power and chip away at our Second Amendment. Now, I don't know what it would take to get this to, to, to stop. I've seen maybe one or two times in my life where people have actually come through and gotten a lawyer and stopped it from happening. But since the ruling by the, um, God, sorry, it's, I actually had to stop paying my bills, stop doing all this stuff to make this video. But anyway, basically the, uh, the court said, you know, you can't infringe people's rights, gun rights. People's gun rights are not just a toy for you to take back and forth. They're a right. They are what we have. Now we've got this. And here's why I always say Republicans ain't, ain't crap. Because we've got 15 Republicans here signing this bill with them. Okay, we're just going to watch this again. Watch this over again. It's only two minutes long, so it's not going to take that long. And so you can see why I'm like, man. So this is why I just, I hate this kind of thing. I hate it. There, there, there's a, there are big reasons why we are given these rights. And as you chip away at one, you'll chip away at the others. And eventually we will be someplace like Russia or China or someplace that doesn't have these rights. Just because this one thing doesn't take away everything doesn't mean this isn't just one more chip and one more chip and one more chip. Anyway, let's watch this. Let's see if I can get this going here. In decades, is expected to get final approval in Congress later today. Now, it's already passed the Senate with bipartisan support, and President Biden plans to sign it into law. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more on this story. Nancy, good morning. They say this is a big, big deal. It is a milestone, Gail. This uh, bill is poised to become the most significant federal bipartisan gun law we've seen in decades. 15 Republicans joining all Senate Democrats last night in voting yes. Now, this is the result of weeks why they of closed crap, guys. door talks. That's why I'm not Senate a Republican following anymore. Following the Uvalde massacre in Texas, lead negotiators for the bill said that Congress just could no longer ignore the nation's gun violence. I don't believe in doing nothing in the face of what we saw in Uvalde. Senator John... Cornyn of Texas? You disappoint me, sir. I My heart is broken. Texas? You better get this guy out of here. You better get him out. Now the, uh, we've seen in far too many communities, this bill is a compromise. It doesn't do everything I want. But what we are doing will save thousands of lives. This bipartisan legislation is going to enhance gun background checks for people under the age of 21. It sets Which aside stupid. $750 million to give to states that implement Incentivizing red flag laws taking our rights away with money. to temporarily money. seize guns from people who are deemed a danger to themselves or others. And look, 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 look. That just incentivizes states who have no backbone to take money from the federal government. This pisses me off because this is what they always do. They always say, we'll give you money if you go our way. Just just do it for the money, okay? Do it for the money. That. Oh, I'm so pissed off right now. Okay, anyways. Boyfriend loophole where if you have any instance of a... Well, I'll just let them tell you. I'm sorry. I'm just so... Mm. It closes the so-called boyfriend loophole, which prevents someone who's been convicted of a domestic abuse a crime but lives outside of a victim's home from buying a gun. Now, 
So just think about that for just one second. Again, like we have said over and over and over again, and if you're paying attention at all, you have seen that women or men or whoever have been say, been lying about this domestic abuse stuff. And guys get arrested, they get charged, they go to jail. Whether it's true or not. So what they just did was take a situation, marginalize a certain kind of people. Well, not even a certain kind of people. Just because you, you don't even have to be that kind of person who's beaten people and, and this will happen to you. This is the chip. This is, this is part of the chip that takes it away. Oh, okay, well, maybe, you know, because this happened, you can't have a gun now. They said not to be infringed for any reason at all. Why? And I don't... Why? Because guess what? If that guy is beating up my family member, if that guy is beating up my friend, I can take my gun and shoot him in the face. Because that's... That's self-defense. Okay, they are they are t they are trying to they are doing this thing that they always do, where it's oh this is common sense gun reform. Anytime you say common sense gun reform, I am not on your side. Oh, this is to protect people. It does not protect people because you are going to take guns away from people who need them. You are going, <sighs> and we'll see it, and I'll report on it as I see it. Okay. But this is the thing. This is the thing that drives me absolutely nuts. And you can tell I'm upset because I'm banging on my table. <laughs> this I am not happy with. You should not be happy with either. Just give it some thought. Because they do the thing that they always do where they make it sound good. They make it sound like this is for you. This is to protect you and everything. Government, you are not my, you are not my God. You are not my parents. You are not my friends. You are not here to, to protect me. My rights, my God-given rights protect me, not you. And I can't stand this stuff. Ugh. It's why we have our God-given rights. They, they are there to protect us. Our rights are, not the government. The government keeps taking it from us. And they do it in these ways that make it sound like, well, we're here to protect you. No, you're not. F off and go away. Like, I just can't even... Oh, I'm so just want to strangle people when stuff like this happens like this is breaking news for me because uh, this video is like 49 minutes old and i just saw it so i'm gonna make this i'm gonna edit it and i'm gonna get it up as fast as i can because this is this is effing ridiculous especially after what the supreme court said about this is not a right that you're supposed to mess with and finagle and take away because of this that and the other and now we have this so guys find out if you're a Republican or even if you're a Democrat, find out who voted for this thing and get them out of there because they don't need to be there anymore. They don't understand why they're supposed to be there. And I dare say none of them do really, but these guys definitely don't. If you think common sense gun control is an okay thing, you haven't thought it through and you really need to. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get off here before I just start just ranting, ranting, ranting. <laughs> And uh, I will see you in the next one, guys. Like I said, usually I do them Thursdays at 4. So if you want to come back Thursdays, 4 p.m., I'm going to have something for you. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible. I'm going to have to go do some praying because I am so just... What? What? What makes people think this is okay? Anyway, bye.